Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're looking at upgrading some devices from battery power to mains power. I spoke in last week's episode about an electronic music keyboard that I was able to find an adapter for so that it wasn't chewing through six AA batteries every couple of weeks or months. I mean, yes, you can get rechargeable batteries and I try and use them wherever I can. But when you're playing the keyboard, you're usually sitting down indoors and it's not that hard to just plug it in. It really lends itself to mains power. Obviously, not everything benefits from being mains powered. A mains powered torch or walkie-talkie really just isn't that useful in many situations. But there's a whole bunch of things in between. And with my box of power adapters and a little bit of brain power, I decided to see what I could convert. And so I've adapted a couple of different devices to rid them from the need for batteries. Or sometimes to use different batteries. 9 volt rectangular batteries like this are one sort of battery that I never seem to have around. There aren't many things that I use them for and so whenever I try and find a spare I almost never have one. The other day I needed this little network cable tester and It takes a 9 volt battery, and of course there wasn't one in there. And I had none lying around. But wait, I just sorted through my box of power adapters, and I have a bunch of 9 volt ones. But I don't want to cut the cables off, and there's no good way to attach to this connector. So I fussicked around in a box of old batteries that I need to take and get recycled, and found some old dead 9 volt batteries. I was able to take the top of it off pretty cleanly like this, then I did some slightly less than perfect soldering, trimmed it down, and added a layer of heat shrink with holes cut out for the connectors. What I ended up with was this adapter and this plug on the end of it. So I can plug it in like this, plug it in at the wall, and have a powered cable tester. I even cut a notch out of the back plate so that I can tuck it away fairly neatly like that. It's perfect 95% of the time because I'm basically always near a power point when I want to test a cable. And if I'm not, I can still get a battery and use that instead. My second upgrade was this cactus, which was given to my eldest a year or two ago. They didn't really know what to do with it. It was cute, but they can never be bothered putting batteries in it. I opened it up and went, hmm, two AA batteries at 1.5 volts each is three volts. That's kind of close to 5 volts. And you know what runs at 5 volts? USB. So I took an old cable from a dead mouse, connected it in, plugged it in, and it works. 5 volts is probably oversupplying it. And look, it may die because of it, but it was just about useless anyway if you're not going to put batteries in it. Again, I cut some notches in the drawer and in the back plate so that it can sit up nicely on my desk. And I have a nice USB powered ornament. In last week's video, I actually had it up here behind me where it's plugged into one of these chargers that houses an 18650 battery, rechargeable via USB and providing USB power out. I have several of these around my office that I created using the case which I bought on eBay for less than a dollar and some 18650 rechargeable batteries that I got out of some old laptop batteries. You'll hear more about these 18650 batteries in future episodes. I have quite a collection and some projects that I want to get to using them. For now I have two devices that basically never got used that can be used again. I've also got my eye out for other things that can be switched to mains power or USB power. The last thing I fixed like this was for a work colleague who had lost the charger for one of those sports massage guns. A little online research told me it was charged by 5 volts. Hmm, another USB cable and a plug from one of the adapters in my box and it was back charging again and he could relieve those tired aching muscles after a tough weekend of sport. Question of the day, can you think of anything you can convert from batteries to either mains or USB power? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video is useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. 
learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.